يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا O mankind, we have created you from a male and a female, and we made you into nations and tribes, so that you may get to know one another. Chapter 49, verse 13, the Quran. Ya Yuhannas, people, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha. We have created all of you from a male and female, which means you are one family. You are not one people better than another, one nation better than another, one race better than another. You are equals. Wa ja'alnakum, and we're the ones that made you. Shu'uban wa qaba'ila, different kinds of populations, shu'uban, sha'ab, people, populace, population. وَقَبَائِلْ and tribes, nations and tribes, populations and tribes, لِتَعَارَفُوا So that you can recognize one another. So that you can understand each other's customs. عُرْف comes from here. So you can appreciate the diversity of cultures in the world. Just like you appreciate different kinds of flowers, different kinds of rocks, different kinds of waters, different kinds of climates, different kinds of people, different kinds of cultures, different kinds of traditions. So you can do that. So you can enjoy the diversity of human, humankind. That's why I gave you. لِتَعَارَفُوا So you can recognize one another and distinguish one another and respect one another. Appreciate one another. إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ يَتْقَاكُمْ No doubt the most respectful among you is the one that has the most urge to protect themselves, the most careful, the one who are closest to Allah in watching out, which means race is not a problem now. Race is not an issue. Where is, how do you check taqwa of someone? A taqwa, Rasul Yaqul Sallallahu Alaihi taqwa ha huna. Taqwa is in here. I can't check anybody's taqwa now, which means I can't ever say who has more respect than others. That's why Allah says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam. We, we honored the entire ch children of Adam. All children of Adam are honored. In Allah Alim al No doubt Allah knows all, He and is fully aware, has full news of everything. But the Prophet, I would argue, is the first person to actually argue that. Anasu Sawasiya. Ka asnan al misht. I don't think you'll find any uh, any person in human history before the Prophet. And I would challenge somebody to do that, to show me a quote. Because Aristotle, the greatest mind of the ancient world, arguably. Uh, said there are people that are natural slaves because of their inferiority to other people and women are naturally inferior to men. And that was Aristotle's opinion which was held by, by many, many people, educated people all over the world for centuries. But the Prophet ﷺ said no, people are equal. He says, Thomas Jefferson, life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. So he's really talking about equality of rights. The Prophet ﷺ said, and Nasu Sawasya ka asnan al misht and I would argue he's the first person in human history ever to say that. I don't think anybody said it before him. Not Thomas Jefferson or anybody else. So the Prophet said, human beings are equal like the tongues of a comb, like the teeth of a comb. They're equal. Our Prophet said, all of you are from one. And your father is one. لا فضل لعربي على عجمي ولا عجمي على عربي ولا لأحمر على أسود ولا أسود على أحمر إلا بالتقوى This is an authentic hadith in Muslim Muhammad from the Hajjat al -Wada. And this is completely revolutionary as I have said many times before. No philosopher, thinker, intellectual leader in the history of humanity had ever said all humans are equal. Nobody. Every society thought we are better. Whether it was ethnicity, whether it was race, they always thought we are better. And the first person to say this, and clearly this is from the divine, because this is not something that the son of Abdul Muttalib would want to say if he were simply the son of Abdul Muttalib. The person who has the most noble lineage amongst all of the Arabs, he is the one saying, it doesn't matter whether you're Arab or Ajam, whether you're white or black, it's all irrelevant except with taqwa. That is revolutionary for humanity. And now we are still struggling with this concept, but we know it's right in our world. We know it's right, but we're still struggling with this concept.
14 centuries ago, the first human to ever say it so bluntly was our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.